Hello everyone, it's Amy from Dewdrops Photography. I'm so excited to share with you a start to finish edit using the Newborn Collection Lightroom presets. You can find them at www.greaterthangatsby.com. If you'd like more information from me on my workshops and private mentoring, you can visit www.dewdropsphoto.com. The first thing I'm gonna do with this little guy is do, use a spot healing brush and just get rid of some of his bumps and I use the mouse still I've tried everything else and the mouse just works better for me I'm so used to it that I've tried the other stuff other Wacom tablet Wacom whatever it's called and I'm just quicker with my mouse so you might hear the clicking a lot so I apologize in advance. Okay, we took care of most of the little flakes here and there. I don't remove them from feet or hands so much unless they're really, really big flakes. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the brush, the brushes. I'm gonna change this to reduce red. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 50%. I'm going to bring my flow up just a little bit more. Get rid of some of the reds. Actually more. There we go. I like to keep their toes and hands a little pink because when in a couple weeks his skin's gonna clear up. He's gonna be more one color, but his feet and his hands will still be pink. So that's my philosophy on that. I'm going to add a new brush and change this to the Lash Enhancer. I'm gonna go ahead and just make his eyelashes pop. He's got these great lashes over here. I'm just going to enhance them. And no matter what we do, sometimes one eye is not as sharp as the other. So I'm not going to uh, trash this image just because one eye is not quite as sharp as the other. So I'm just going to enhance that eye line over here. I'm going to add a new brush just on this one. Bring my flow up a little bit more. And there you go. I just like their eyelashes to pop a little bit more. All right, and then I'll go to another brush. Make sure you select new. Go to Baby Skin Smoother. And I'm going to give him a nice little skin smoothing. I'm going to bring my flow up a bit more and my opacity. My computer can't keep up with my brain or my hands, so bear with me. You want to avoid his eyes, his eyelashes, um, his lips, of course. And then I'm going to give him a little bit over his head. He's got a lot of little bumps up there. Don't forget, don't just smooth out their faces. I also get their hands and feet just a little bit, too. out. All right, there we go. Um, you can also add rosy cheeks, but he doesn't need them. His cheeks are nice and rosy, but that brush is also located right here. There's other great tools in here. There's reduced jaundice, uh, the fill flash, which you can also use, sharpen details, shadow minimizer, and just brush where you need that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go over to our enhancements and we'll start with the exposure. So I feel like he needs a little bit more. 
and I like this one right here. Okay, another thing is too, we all shoot differently. Some of us use Calvin, some of them do us to use custom white balance. Some of you may still shoot in auto. So um, the white fit, white balance fixes are amazing. You can kind of click through here and decide which one works best for you. For this one, I'm thinking number seven or eight. And then I'll go to our enhancements like just click on one that's right for you. Every image is a little bit different. So I'm probably going to stick with somebody's baby. There we go. And then I'm going to go down to, so that right there to me looks, oops, sorry, that one looks really good. We also have these black and white presets that are pretty incredible. I think I decided that Baby, You're a Rich Man was my favorite. There's so many in here. And it's just some of us like to have a little more um, contrast in our black and whites. And some of you may, may not th want them so contrasty. I like mine a little bit moody. So I like Baby, You're a Rich Man. We also have the sharpening tools sharpening boost and then I also think for this particular image I'm gonna get rid of the black and white for now uh, for this particular image because he's on the dark wood I really liked the soft dark vignette it just adds a little something and then there's a the darker one so you can choose between those two actually I'm gonna click on the dark vignette number two okay and there you have it so now I'm going to show you before and after And there you go. Everything is done in Lightroom for this image and I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you guys so much. And again, if you'd like to buy these actions, sorry, <laughs> presets, the website is www.greaterthangatsby.com. And for more information from me, you can visit www.dodropsphoto.com. Thank you guys so much.